From planets with strange phenomena to ones that truly boggling the mind and the laws of physics, join me as I reveal to you 10 of the strangest planets ever discovered in space. Number 10. Uranus It might seem a bit odd to think that there are strange planets within our own solar system, but if you think about it, our solar system would have been the first thing that astronomers discovered, right? So imagine their surprise when they found out about Uranus. Obviously, when compared to the rest of the planets in our solar system, Uranus is an odd duck due to that it's on its side most of the time. This is proven by its rings, which instead of being perfectly horizontal or on a slightly tilted axis, is actually almost perfectly vertical in how they look in orientation to the planet. Not many planets in the universe have rings that have a vertical feel to them. But if you think that the rings and the tilt of the planet is all that makes Uranus strange, you would be wrong, because its clouds are also a bit of an oddity. You see, some of the gases of the planet were known of for a while, but the makeup of the clouds themselves are still being researched by various scientists. One such breakthrough via the research came in 2017, when it was discovered that hydrogen sulfide is within its clouds. So while Uranus may seem harmless at first glance, it's not a planet you want to come into contact with. And while it may not be the strangest thing in the world, Uranus is also the only gas planet in our solar system to look like it only has one color. Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune, and also Venus, though it's not a gas planet, all have a menagerie of colors thanks to its many gases. But Uranus only looks like it has one color most of the time. And while you're about to see a whole bunch of weird planets within our universe, you need to take stock and admit that we have some pretty strange planets close to home. Number 9. GJ504b If you don't think that a planet on its side is much of a strange thing, then how about a planet that is actually a rather odd color? Say pink. Because if you were to head 57.3 light years away from Earth, you would find a planet called GJ504b. And it is, in fact, a planet that is 100% pink. Or to be more colorfully accurate, it's a shade of magenta. So the obvious question is, how does a planet get wrapped in a shade of pink magenta? That would be because while it is a fully formed planet, the process that made it a planet hasn't burned through yet. Meaning the heat that helped make the planet is still around on GJ504b. So as a result, the planet is pink. Oh, and it should be noted for the record that this planet is actually the size of Jupiter. So it's not just a pink planet, it's a large pink planet. Ah, uh, but that's not all that's interesting about GJ504b. As for scientists noted its place within its particular system, they've noticed that the planet is actually incredibly far from its own sun. And yet it's a massive planet. So that seems to contradict what the scientists of Earth feel is necessary to create certain kinds of planets. Because since it's so far from the sun, the debris needed to make it shouldn't have been around to form the planet. Yet it's there. So it's big, it's pink, and it's a mystery to the people of our world. Yep, that's the definition of strange in my book. Number 8. Galice 436b Out there in the universe right now is a star called Galice, and around that star are many planets one of which is called Galice 436b. However, after being discovered, it's got a not-so-nice nickname from us here on Earth. You see, it's called the Burning Ice Cube, and that nickname is meant to be very literal. The planet itself is a giant ice cube. It's composed of ice from the surface down, so it is truly an ice planet, which isn't too strange on its own. That is until you find out that the temperature of the planet is a scorching 439 degrees Celsius, which if you're looking for a conversion, that is 822 degrees Fahrenheit. That temperature would scorch our Earth and leave it lifeless in no time flat. So you're no doubt wondering how an ice planet could have scorching hot temperatures and still be whole, right? This has to do with planet itself, or more specifically, it has to do with what makes up the planet, i.e. the ice. There's so much water in Galice 436b thanks to the ice that the flaming hot temperatures don't affect the ice as much as you would expect. This is combined with the gravity of the planet, which is so strong that it actually compacts the water molecules 
in such a way that they cannot be burnt and thus can't be evaporated. As a result, you have a planet that is so hot that nothing can live on it, yet it is so cold that the surface can't be burned. That's a literal meaning of the opposites. Number 7. Wasp 12b I want you to think about the shape of our planet. If you were to call it a shape, you would no doubt say it's a sphere, right? Because it's perfectly round. No truly elongation within it, right? However, the same cannot be said for the planet known as Wasp 12b, for this is a planet that is actually well and truly elongated, and it has all to do with the Sun that it is revolving around. The planet is actually egg-shaped due to the massive amount of gravity that the Sun it encircles exhumes, and this is only one part of the strangeness of the planet, because the gravity isn't just elongating the planet, it's killing it. Worse, it's killing the planet slowly. So in about 10 million years or so, the planet won't be around anymore because the gravity will cause it to, well, die epically. Let's just put it that way. Oh, but it gets better. Because the composition of WASP-12b is very different from a bunch of other planets in the universe, as most planet surfaces reflect light, allowing us to see it. But WASP-12b? It actually absorbs 94% of all light that touches it. So to the naked eye, it looks like a pitch black egg that is hovering in space. Needless to say, a lot of scientists were surprised when they found it. Number 6. 55 Cancri E If you were to list down all the things that can make up planets, you would eventually break it down into two categories, solid planets or gas planets. And most of the solid planets would have a basic rock-type substance at its base, right? Well, that doesn't apply to 55 Cancri E, for what sets this planet apart from the others is that it's a planet that is mostly diamond. Yes, as in Earth-like diamonds, just on a much grander scale. The planet itself was once a star in a binary system, meaning two stars in the system, and eventually its partner star tried to devour it. The problem was that it couldn't because the star had carbon in it. For those who don't know, diamonds are formed under extreme pressure and time via carbon and other elements, which this star had. So after the absorption failed, which caused a great amount of stress and pressure on the star, it became a diamond planet. Though not all of the planet is a diamond. In fact, it is about one-third diamond, with other materials making up the rest. If you're looking to know why this is relevant, 55 Cancri E is 8 times the mass of our own planet. Add that all up and you get 26.9 no million dollars worth of diamonds. And before you ask, yes, that is far more than our planet is worth by several leaps. And to get even a fraction of this amount of diamonds would make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. Number 5. GJ1214b this one is a bit easier to explain in terms of its weirdness simply because it's something that many scientists and certain sci-fi movie TV writers have only dreamed of, as GJ1214b is well and truly a water world. No, truly, this is a planet that, as best as we can tell, is a planet that is comprised only of oceans and has no land on the surface of it. Granted, there could be water beneath the surface, but of yet, we can't verify that. This is one of only a few potential water worlds in the entire universe, which you might have thought there would be more of, but that's not the case apparently. It's rare to find a planet so completely covered in water. Obviously, this wouldn't make a good place for Earth to live, but it also could be theorized that since we haven't gone into the waters of GJ1214b, we don't know if life is there. Number 4. Kelt 9b from a world that is literally drowning in itself to a world that is literally burning itself alive, Kelt 9 b is a planet that is well and truly burning the life out of it, and is in fact the hottest exoplanet ever discovered in our universe. Thankfully, this planet is about 950 light years away from Earth, so we won't have to worry about it. But the planet itself is dying in many ways, one of which is that it's tidally locked with the Sun in its system. That means half the planet is always facing the star, making the surface of the planet hot on one side, but freezing on the other. Oh, but here's the kicker. The planet is three times the size of Jupiter, 
and it burns with an intensity of 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit, which is close to what Earth's core burns at, or what our own star burns at. Because of this heat and its own star's influence, the planet will die as it's burning up the gases that comprise it. Granted, it's going to take a few million years to get to that part, but it's going to get there, and nothing can stop it. Number 3. Kepler 10c One thing that the exploration of the universe constantly does is challenge what scientists think about the universe. Well and truly, a great example of this is Kepler 10c, near the Draco constellation around 560 light years from Earth. The planet Kepler 10c is a planet that is truly massive in terms of size and weight. The planet is twice the size of Earth, but it is also 17 times what our Earth weighs. Add that to the fact that it orbits a sun that is close enough to the planet to cause a 45-day year, and you have a problem. Mainly those who study how planets are formed can't actually understand how a planet like this is formed, because it's too big and too heavy to have formed through natural means. And because of this, there is now a category of planet referred to as mega-Earths. Number 2. HD 189733b There are a lot of weird things in this universe, but I think it would be fair to guess that HD 189733b is one of the strangest planets in existence, mainly because this is a planet that rains glass sideways. No, this is not a trick or something seen in a sci-fi movie or a TV show. It's a real planet, and it really does this. I'll explain how. The glass itself comes from the atmosphere, which has a high concentrate of silica, a component very common on Earth. Because of the buildup of silica, as the rains come down on the planet, it hardens, not unlike condensation from water to ice at times on Earth, and thus become glass. So yeah, glass can truly rain down from the skies above. Now as for the other part, the winds on HD 189733b are far beyond anything on Earth or many other planets that in the universe could do. They're so powerful that they can be up to 5,400 miles per hour. The force of this wind at such high speeds makes it so that the glass rain cannot fall down straight and instead fall sideways. So what you get in return is a planet that is beyond logic and yet is explained by science and most definitely a planet that humanity will never ever want to set foot on for obvious reasons. Number 1. Methuselah Those who know the Christian Bible will recognize this name, but Methuselah is also the name for a planet that is very far away from Earth, like over 12,000 light years far away. But that's not the odd thing about the planet. Based on the readings put on by astronomers, they believe that Methuselah is actually a planet that is 13 billion years old, many times older than our own planet is supposed to be. Can you believe that these planets actually exist in outer space? Which one do you think was the strangest? Would you ever want to see one of these planets up close and personal? Do you know of another strange planet that has been discovered in space? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.